Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. It is another day where I'm starting here in this spot in my apartment. I'm gonna set you down so I can chat, but um, I have a call in about seven minutes. I'm just catching up on a Zoella vlog. I love Zoella. If there's one thing about me, I am a Zoella stan, have been since the beginning. I'm really sorry if you can hear the construction sounds in the background. They are doing their thing. They're replacing someone's roof or something like that. Drew's on a call in his office. The living room's right there, so it wouldn't make a difference for sound. And then if I go into our bedroom, you're just gonna hear our neighbors. So <laughs> it's just kind of one of those things. But yeah, it's just before 11 o'clock. I have been just doing a bunch of office work today. Filed my taxes, had to talk to my tax guy, had to pay some invoices, placed some orders for some videos, packaged some returns for some other things that didn't work out. I need to drop those off later. I have my call here in a few minutes and I've just been like, I don't know, I've been, kind of down in the dumps lately and I thought I'd be honest about it because obviously it's not <laughs> I hope you can't hear that as much as I can it hasn't been taking over my life by any means I'm still absolutely fine but there are just like I don't know I've been just a little under the weather my stomach hasn't been cooperating as much lately my SIBO has gotten kind of bad I really do need to get back to my gastroenterologist and kind of figure that out it's just one of those things where SIBO is extremely persistent like you really, you can think that you've tackled it and then it comes back or you eat something you've always eaten and then it upsets your stomach or whatever the case. So that part's a little frustrating. And then I don't know if this is like an ADHD thing. I say that for like everything in my life. I don't know if this is the case or not. So if it's not, you know, it's fine. I don't like blame everything in my life on ADHD, but there are a lot of things that as I've gotten older and I've, you know, learned more about ADHD, I'm like, oh my God, wait, there's a reason for this and that. And, you know, all those other things. But something I have been really struggling with, I mean, mostly in my adult life, and this could be from childhood trauma as well, but I, I really struggle to be present. And I have really been struggling over the last, like, few years really, but the last several months with just being present. I am always thinking about what the next thing is, the next trip, the next outing, the next video, the next place I'm gonna live, the next whatever. And really having a hard time just like enjoying enjoying the current moment that I'm in like to the point where I I want to just like fast forward time and I don't I don't like that I want to enjoy the phases of life that I'm in as I'm in them but sometimes it just sort of feels like I'm unable to do that like all I can think about is the next big thing or the next stage of life and even if I have something that I've always wanted like I've always thought about having an apartment in LA in an area that I love that's walkable and you know one once I get to this point, then I will be like content and fulfilled. And I am, but like, I'm still always looking for the next thing, you know? Like I am living my dream life at the moment. And still it's like, I'm comparing myself to other people or I'm thinking about what I could be doing next or raising the bar and needing to take it even a step higher. And I know a lot of us can relate to that. I'm sure it's also just like capitalism and <laughs> the fact that, you know, we're just obsessed with advancing further in our careers we're obsessed with work we're obsessed with like just go 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 what we have is never enough we always need more type of things so I don't know it's just something I've been thinking about I only have three minutes until my call so I actually really need to get on this and maybe we can chat more about it later but if you are also someone who deals with that please let me know because I never really see anyone talking about that and just like struggling to stay present to just enjoy the present moment instead of always thinking ahead and thinking about what I can do in the future, what the next thing is, you know? Anyways, we'll chat more in a bit, but first let's hop on this call. This is a call with my management and a brand. So that'll be really fun. I've never chatted with them before. And then we will continue on with the rest of this day. It is a very cloudy, soon to be rainy day in LA. And honestly, normally I'd be here for it, but today it's kind of affecting the mood. So we'll see. Good morning. It is several days later. Listen, we'll talk about it. I just haven't been well mentally. And I think a big part of it is because I've been completely thrown off my routine for the last three weeks. I haven't worked out in three weeks because I've been trying to let my eyebrows heal. They're doing pretty good. They're not fully healed yet. I think it just takes me longer to heal these days. Um, but I'm not waiting any longer because my mental health is not good. It's not, it's not been good. It's been down in the dumps. And so we've got to do something about it. So we're going to get back into our workout. I'm going to start out with one of my co-pilot workouts, do my morning smoothie. And I'm just going to try to see if getting some endorphins going and getting back into my routine is going to help the old mental health because 
I need it. I'm laughing, but that's just how I deal with things. Anyway, let's do it. Also pray for me, because these are my absolutely, by far, hardest workouts. And um, I haven't worked out in three weeks, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be rough. <laughs> A little while later it is like noon um, drew just hopped into a meeting so i'm gonna try to keep it down a little bit but i do feel a little bit better i feel a little less uh how do i put this like a piece of shit. <laughs> if you know you know like if you're going through a low period you get it it's just there's just sometimes you go through a funk and there's really no reason i mean it's probably a culmination of a bunch of different things but i'm trying to equally balance like feeling my feelings and validating the fact that like i've been pretty low the last few days haven't felt that great but also like being really grateful and you know remembering that life is so beautiful and i really have nothing to complain about it's just one of those things you know what i mean but anyway it's a beautiful sunny day today it's been the weirdest thing i saw this tiktok recently where i talked about how la during the week is like like the most beautiful weather you've ever seen in your entire life and then on the weekend it's like raining disgusting gray cloudy and that's exactly how it was this weekend on saturday we went to drew's niece and his family were in town like his sister and her husband and their two daughters that side of the family um actually had a tournament here in california and so we drove like about an hour away to go meet them and then we spontaneously decided to take one of our nieces to disneyland the other one had been to disneyland the day before so she had a softball tournament and she was busy so we ended up spending it at Disneyland and then it poured rain poured rain and I'm talking like it was me drew his sister and my niece and we were soaked to the bone we literally had to buy new clothes at Disneyland like we bought new sweatshirt new sweatpants like we were just not prepared and then we bought ponchos and we were good but it was so funny and then Sunday yesterday it poured all day long Alexa and I were supposed to go to the Rose Bowl flea market we didn't end up going because it was just absolutely pouring and it was nice it was like a much needed lion kind of couch type of day so drew and i did that we did all of our laundry just got ourselves back together we didn't drink at all at disneyland on saturday and we were dead yesterday like i might as well i might as well have done a bar crawl until five in the morning like i was so exhausted so that's just kind of funny but anyway so i got dressed i got myself ready i put on a lot of color today so hopefully that'll make me feel good i actually just got this sweatshirt and it's from, I believe it's called Shop Kristen Jones. I saw someone recommend it on TikTok and I was like, okay, cute. So I ordered a few of these. I got this sweatshirt, which says Happy Go Lucky. I'm like, it's so adorable. And then I got two more shirts, not sponsored at all, by the way. I just literally bought these with my own money. I'm easily influenced. I also got this shirt, which is so cute. And it says, hold on, let me overthink this. And I love the red on the front. I think it'll be so cute with like leopard print stuff and just like gingham pants and all that kind of fun stuff. And then this one is such a cute like neon coral color and it says all this and brains too and i love that so anyway let me show you the rest of my outfit before we're gonna i need to drop off some packages and i've been putting it off forever because i just am so scared of the <laughs> post office workers the last time i was there i dropped off 24 packages and boy did they let me know that they didn't like it so we'll see <laughs> i'll get to it eventually but anyways here's my outfit we are going to ignore the laundry behind me and the fact that this mirror is never clean but yeah i have this cute little sweatshirt on just very cozy i've got some stacked necklaces i think these are this one's from madewell from i think i got this in 2018 maybe this chain i couldn't tell you maybe from walmart maybe from amazon i don't know but i have it on like a double clasp thing so it doesn't move iconic i have these pajama pants <laughs> from old navy they're like the boxer pants and i think they're so cute i just have like a uniqlo tank top underneath and then my yellow on itsuka tigers because i just felt like being very colorful there's some yellow in the sweatshirt so i thought it like tied it all in for all my bang girlies out there this is a monumental day because i am kind of trying to grow my bangs out i like them but it's just i just 
you know. <laughs> the time that I have enjoyed them has come and gone, so I've been growing them out, and this is the first day that I've been able to like kind of curl them into the rest of my front pieces, and so you can't tell that I have bangs. They're actually long enough to do that now. This side isn't quite long enough to tuck behind my ear yet, but that day is coming. So yeah, I had to like kind of hairspray them in a little bit, but oh, I feel, I feel like me again for some reason. Isn't that weird? I like the bangs, it's just, you know, I'm growing my hair out. You know, you get it. Anyways, okay. I need to take out the trash. I need to drop off some packages and then I think I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I am being way too chatty at the moment though. Like I need to start getting things done. I just haven't vlogged in a few days. <laughs> I have so much to say and like so much to catch you up on. So first things first, let's take out the trash and run our errands and then we'll chat. Take out the trash with me. <laughs> My trash routine. Ugh. Okay, got him. Let's do this. Luckily, they're all going to the same place. They're all going to the post office. So let's do this. Get this out of the way. Just real quick. It takes two seconds and yet I always postpone it till the last, very, very last second. <laughs> All right, just dropped off my packages. It took two seconds. It always does. It's just one of those things that I always put off. That and getting gas are like the two things that I hate the most. Oh, I'm also wearing um, my niece's sunglasses that she accidentally left in my purse. I believe they're from Kohl's and she looks fabulous in them, but I stole them because they were in my purse. So <laughs> we will get them back to her. But um, okay, now next on the list is going to the grocery store. I need to get like more nourishing foods that are good for me because I noticed that when I am not feeling 100%, I immediately just like just eat terrible food that makes me feel bad. And I also have SIBO. So there's a lot of foods that actually physically make me not feel good, like physically sick. And I just do it anyways, cause I don't know, that's what we do as humans. So I'm going to try and get some like good, nice nourishing groceries and try to get back on track with that this week. And obviously I'm still gonna enjoy myself. I'm still gonna like, you know, indulge. I'm still gonna have my desserts and things like that. But you know what I mean. I also posted, I mean, I guess we can just chat in the car for a minute. I also posted on my Instagram stories, something that I've been feeling for a long time and I haven't really been able to like fully put it into words other than I, the reason, like, I, I don't know if you noticed that I missed a vlog this week. I have just been in this weird headspace with posting on social media lately, which, like, is my job. It's part of what I do. But I just feel, I don't know, weird about it sometimes. Like, posting on social media is so scary these days. <laughs> like, it's truly so scary. And, like, I second guess every single thing that I post. I second guess posting like a picture of a palm tree on my Instagram stories. I'm like thinking hard about it before I do it. Cause I just, I don't know, it feels really vulnerable. And there are times where like today, you know, I'm starting to feel better. I'm starting to crawl out of my funk. So I want to share everything. I want to talk about everything. I want to talk about every single detail. I want to get vulnerable. I want to be an open book. I want to, you know, chit chat away. And then there are other times where Number one, I don't feel like I have anything to say. Like I don't have anything of value to add. And number two, I just want to be anonymous. I want to like throw my phone in the ocean and live a life completely offline. My camera is falling. And it's like never an in-between, it's either or. And I go through this quite a lot. And obviously I know I don't have to post on the internet. I could easily find another job, but I really enjoy it so much. There are so many things that I enjoy about this job. It is such a privileged job to have. I feel so fortunate to have an amazing community of people, but there are times where the negativity just gets really loud and you kind of listen to those negative voices and you start to believe them or you don't, you know, you just kind of waver sometimes. I feel like I have a pretty strong sense of self, but there are just times where things are so mean and so nasty that it just gets to you, you know? And then you just think, what's the point? You start doing it to yourself, like, oh, someone's gonna kind of take that out of context or whatever. And I think like one of the hardest aspects of just being a person in general is like people misunderstanding you <laughs> is being misunderstood um it's so scary it's so terrifying to be misunderstood because you can have the best of intentions and someone can completely misunderstand you completely take something you said and turn it into something else or whatever so that part can get difficult and so i think sometimes in order to preserve myself from being misunderstood, I like can kind of hide away, but that's not 
what I want to do. I don't want to like cower. I want to keep being vulnerable. I want to keep being an open book. But there are times where I just, I don't want to share anything. Um, and so it's just a weird, it's a weird headspace to be in. But I, I really do feel better now that I'm like getting out of the house. It's perfect sunny day. I'm feeling just much more inspired to like get back into the swing of things and kind of crawl out of the little mini depression hole that I was in. But I want to say this not because I'm coming on here to complain about my job. I hope that's clear. I love this job. I want to say this because it applies to everyone in every situation in life. Like I sometimes want to put up walls, not share anything, protect myself, only like stay in my little corner, mind my own business, which is fine some of the time. But like, I think when you're vulnerable and when you're open and you share things about yourself and your life and whatever, it gives other people permission and you know, the comfortability to do the same. And so I just want to make sure that like, I hang on to that and I don't let myself kind of dwindle away to nothing. You know what I mean? So if you have been struggling with the same thing, and I mean, like there are plenty of people, I posted about it on Instagram stories this morning. There are like hundreds of people who have replied to my Instagram story about this and been like, oh my God, I feel the same. Way and I don't even do social media for a job. I'm just like second guessing everything. It feels so vulnerable. It feels so scary. It's like, ooh, I don't want to post anything about my life. And then I have moments where I do and I want to share everything about my life. And so, you know, I think it's like a universal thing that we're all just going through at the moment. It's a weird like post COVID thing. It's a weird social media era that we're in. I will say I did re download TikTok probably like a month ago when the Miss Alicia Marie mentioned me in a video um, where she talked about like creators that you should follow or something like that and I love her for that. But then I kind of slowly got sucked back into TikTok and now I think like that has something to do with my mental decline. It's really increased my screen time so I'm gonna have to like enforce some some boundaries with that. But I thought that was Shawn Mendes walking by but I don't think it is. Is it? It's hard to tell. Anyways, um, yeah, so I've just got to, I've got to figure it out. I've got to figure out the balance. And I just wanted to share it in case anyone else was going through the same thing. And I know that like I share, I have a lot of these moments where I'm like, I just wanted to share this because I'm a sensitive person. If you haven't figured that out yet, I'm sensitive, I'm loud, I'm saturated, I'm, you know, over the top and that's just how I am. So I'm just a very, very, very sensitive gal and I've got a lot of feelings all the time and I'm gonna share them because guess what? I can. Oh, me and this girl walking by have matching Stanleys, but she can't see me. Hey, hey twin, where have you been? Anyway, I feel good. Feel good after sharing that. I feel like that's just, that's me catching you up with what I've been up to. I've just been sitting on the couch being like, I should vlog today. And it's like, I don't have anything good to say. I don't have anything. My life isn't interesting. I don't have, you know, anything of value to add. And sometimes I just don't want to say anything. And so I don't. And now I'm just a chatty chatterbox. I have to remember that there are so many people out there who watch this with like genuine intent and not I not focus on the people who like maybe don't like me. That's something that I've struggled with throughout my entire life is like really only worrying about the people who don't like me and trying to like win them over somehow or something or, or explain like, no, this is actually what I meant. You don't understand. You just misunderstood me or you don't get me or whatever. Um, and I'm just done doing that, you know? I don't want to get into a position like I was last year where I stopped vlogging for like four or five months because I was like, you know, just letting all that stuff get to my head. So anyways, Stop talking, Carrie. Okay, let's go get groceries. Bye. <laughs>
So those sound pretty good, so we'll put those in the fridge. Hint water is like one of me and Drew's new favorite things. Like we're obsessed with it, we love it. Okay, in this bag, what'd we get? Got some oat milk for coffee. I found these teriyaki style chicken snack sticks. They're like Slim Jims, but teriyaki flavor. I like teriyaki anything, it's delicious. Got some ranch. Got some Catalina Crunch. This is a good cereal. It's gluten-free and vegan, and it's got like protein in it, which is nice. So I have that in like my yogurt parfait sometimes. We got some cotton candy grapes. If there are ever cotton candy grapes at a grocery store somewhere, I will get them 100%. Got some strawberries. I got this. I've seen everyone using these lately. They've been using like True Lemon, True Lime, and this is True Lemon Lemonade, but the strawberry flavor. So that looks good. I love, I was a 90s kid, so I love like Crystal Light, Kool-Aid, any of that. What else did we get here? We did get some bananas. If you know, you know. I just got one, just got one this time, and I am making my way through all the frozen ones. I got this almond milk to try in my coffee because I've heard people talk about this brand and say that it's really good. And it's like milk, milk. I don't know how to say this, but gonna try that out. I think I just got, yeah, I just got the unsweetened one. I'm kind of boring with my coffee. I just like it plain most of the time. We got some butter and we got some, I can't believe it's not butter. They have different purposes. You get it. I got some chicken tenders, I think these are. Those are just for random dinners. We got some string cheese. These sumo oranges or mandarins are so good. I got one last time and I inhaled it, so I got another one. We got a spaghetti squash and an avocado. This bag, we've been loving these popables from Lay's. They're so good and like the, just the crunchiest, like most satisfying little chip, but they didn't have them. They only had the Sibley veggie but they're ranch flavored, so I don't know. If you've had these, let me know. Sometimes veggie chips are like meh, but we're gonna try it. Got some instant oatmeal, because I do have a whole thing of oatmeal, but I never, I never, I'm like too lazy to make it, so just a microwave one is nice. Got some tortillas, we got some white ones, and then I got these sun-dried tomato basil ones to try. I thought maybe I could make like little sandwich wraps or something. Little babies. Um, what else? We did get some crystal light. I'm a raspberry lemonade girl myself. I got this Primal Kitchen. I've really liked a lot of their stuff I've tried, except the ranch. The ranch was disgusting, but the barbecue sauce was good. And then there was one other thing we tried too that I really liked, but I can't remember. Anyway, I got their no dairy vodka sauce. That looks kind of good. So might try that. And then I also got their teriyaki sauce, which I'm sure will be great. I think they sweetened it with like dates or something like that. I don't know. It's good. And then got some tunas. Drew likes to have tuna, like a tuna rice bowl thing, and then I love it on like a rice cake. Oh my God, it's so good. We got some Pam, just for cooking spray purposes. Got some white cheddar rice cakes. This with like smashed avocado and some everything bagel seasoning or like a turkey, like an open-faced turkey sandwich on these. It's delish. I just love a crunch. I'm a very sensory person. Got some cheese. This is just like shredded Mexican cheese. Got some carrots. These are the carrot chips kind because I'm trying to get through the um, bitchin sauce that I have. So I thought I would do that. We got some turkey breasts. We got these ice cream. These are just fudgesicles, and then these are double raspberry cacao magnum, and these are divine. But if you can find the dove ones, the dove ones with raspberry are even better, but those are still good. And then finally, some Greek yogurt. Because lately I've been liking switching it up and like sweetening my own, so I'll put like maple syrup in it, honey, fruit, and whatever. So that is the grocery haul. Hey! That's my, um outing for the day so we will check in later good morning i'm back in the car yet again it is the next day and um i'm on my way to meet my friend kara for coffee and a walk which is one of my favorite ways to hang out with friends these days it's just like you get some steps in you get some fresh air you get some sunshine, you get a coffee, like what more could you want, you know? And Kara is one of my friends from middle school. She literally came to my 12th birthday party. Like that's how long we've been friends. Um, and so it's so nice, we're 36 and we're like hanging out and getting coffee and it's great. So we haven't caught up in a while, so it'll be really nice to catch up. And also um, she's bringing her cat with us on the walk, which I couldn't be more excited and curious about. I'm like, is this cat going to be on a leash? Are they going to be in a stroller? She just said, yeah, I'll bring I'll bring the cat and we'll go on a walk. And I was like, absolutely, I love that. So I obviously had to show that because that's incredibly iconic. So I'm about halfway there and we will see what a morning cat walk looks like. You know, how great, what could be better?
All right, I'm back home. It's about 10 a.m. That was a lovely way to start the day. The trash truck is coming. I had such a great time walking around with Kara and with Diego. Oh, wasn't he so cute? She has the sweetest cat ever. He's like so beautiful. And then she had a roommate who has a cat who was like striking and gorgeous and so friendly. I do miss having a cat. It was really, really nice to like get in some cat snuggles. So I loved that. Fantastic way to start the day. Just like fills your cup, you know, hanging out with your friends that you've known since literally middle school. So that was great. And now I'm going to set up my walking pad, my little treadmill thing and edit and get work done for the rest of the day. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this vlog and for being here with me. It's just time to wrap it up, you know what I mean? I've been chatting a lot in this vlog, but um, I just realized that I think, I'm pretty sure the day that this video goes up will be the day that the Tortured Poets department comes out, which is Taylor Swift's new album, which <laughs> I'm deeply, deeply unwell over the little snippets we've gotten. The day I'm filming this is Tuesday, and we've already gotten little things here and there, little snippets of like lyrics and things, and it's just, it's gonna, it's gonna devastate me. I, it's gonna, this is gonna be a, a bad one. I can tell, it's gonna be brutal. I seriously can't wait for it. So maybe I'll end up, you know, giving some thoughts in the next vlog, but I just can't believe, I just can't believe that it's, that we're in another album cycle. I, anyway, I can't talk about it. I will start spiraling, but thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching this vlog and I will see you very soon in the next one.